my magical friends welcome back to my channel today is an unboxing day i am super super excited because i've just received the wizarding trunks weasley box i am so excited by this one i absolutely love the design of the box and i am super excited to see what is inside don't forget if you are new and you haven't done already to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time i upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media a big big shout out to my patrons you guys are amazing and if you are interested in joining us on patreon the link is in the description down below you can go and check it out Okay, so just before I start unboxing this box, I do want to let you know that I do still have a discount code for you, which is Kaylee10. This gives you 10% off your first subscription with Wizarding Trunk and any purchases in the store as well. I think this might be my last box as a rep. Very sad. I'm really, really gutted. I still love these boxes so much. I'm still going to be getting these boxes, maybe not every single bi-monthly but I will definitely be getting more boxes from them as and when I can afford them. I definitely have the Potter Collectors Keep Collecting box. I think it's like a Christmas box this year. I have that one coming and I believe I've ordered another box, but my memory has gone completely blank on me and I can't remember what box that is, but I've definitely ordered another box. I'm pretty sure I have. If I haven't, I'm going to like kick myself, but I am pretty sure that I have ordered another box. But the one in front of me is the Weasley box. And can we just talk about this design? It's hilarious. The fact that we've got all these different stamps all over it. And then the front of the box says, I do hope we've put on enough stamps. And then the side has a magical post and fragile magical delivery on the side here as well. This has taken a long time to get to me. I'm not even kidding. There are currently strikes going on with the postal service here in the UK. So this has taken forever and a day to get to me, but I'm very excited that it is finally here. So without further ado, and with me shutting up, I'm going to get involved into this box. So let's just break that seal there. Give you guys the first sneak peek as always. And we just see brown tissue paper. So let's move that out of the way. And then we have goodies inside. So I'm going to go with the t-shirt first because that is staring me in the face. So what do we have here? It's a nice grey t-shirt. I do like the colour. Wow, the back is cool. What's the front? So the front has Norwegian Dragon a Sanctuary on the front here. It's like a little badge with a dragon inside. That's really cool. I love that. And on the back, this design is amazing. Look at that. It says Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary again. And we've got a slightly different design on the back as the front. But we have this gorgeous silhouette of a Norwegian Ridgeback Dragon there and some mountains and hills and stuff on the background. I absolutely love that. That is so beautiful. I really, really like the colour. It's a really soft t-shirt as always from the Wizarding Trunk boxes. It's really wearable. Not automatically a Harry Potter t-shirt, but it's definitely one that is recognisable within the fandom. So I think this is a really, really cool design. Very happy with that. Okay, this one is staring at me. I'm not going to lie. It's giving me pygmy puff vibes. So I think this is, might be what this is. It's probably like a genie reference. Uh, it says Widdershine, Widdershins on the front cutest creature alive and it has a weasley logo on there as well okay and inside we have oh my gosh the most adorable lilac-y purple pygmy puff look at this guy he's so cute look at his little eyes my daughter is going to try and steal this i'm not going to let it this is going straight onto my shelf i am not letting her finish it the second she sees this she's going to lose her little mind this is so cute the eyes are really glittery as well that's really sweet He's got little feeties here at the front. He hasn't got any back feeties though. He needs his back feeties. Uh, and he does have little ears though right here. You can just see his ears poking out there and there. Yeah, this guy is super cute. Really squishy as well. Yeah, he's, he's adorable. I do actually have a pygmy puff on my shelf already. It's the one from Noble Collection. They're like the slightly bigger ones. It's a deeper purple and his name is Paul. I know, bit of a random name for a pygmy puff, but I thought it was hilarious. So he is probably going to sit next to Paul. I'm going to have to figure out another lovely little name for this guy. Maybe a girl name, actually. I could have Paul and Paulette or something like that. If you have an idea for a name for my pygmy puff, then do pop it in the comments below. Let me know if you think it's a boy pygmy puff or a girl pygmy puff. The glittery eyes are giving me girl vibes, I'm not going to lie. But let's just see what you guys think. What should I name my little pygmy puff? Pop it in the comments below. Okay, then I'm seeing... Ooh, what's this? Okay, I'm seeing like cards with a little strip on here. Let's take that off. This is, oh, cute. This is recipe cards. So we have orange squash drink. Are these actual recipes as well that you can follow? So this is the kind of thing that you would probably find in Molly Weasley's kitchen. She'd probably have like a little box full of all her recipes on here. It's got directions on the back 
and all the notes and ingredients on the front. Uh, we have one for sausage rolls as well. That's really, really cool. Shepherd's pie, yum. Uh, cauliflower cheese, not for me personally. My husband loves cauliflower, but not cauliflower cheese. I can't stand cauliflower. So that's probably one that I won't use myself, but very, very sweet. Mashed potatoes, love a good bit of mashed potato. I could literally live on that, I'm not gonna lie. And treacle tart, yes please Molly, thank you very much. Those are really sweet, I like those. I wish we had like a little recipe box that we could pop these in, that'd be really, really sweet. But yeah, I love that idea, it's really, really sweet. And the fact that it's actual recipes as well, brilliant, brilliant touch, I love that. Oh, shut up. Literally, as I said that, I've looked back into the box and there is a magical recipes box. <laughs> so funny oh that's brilliant let's get this out and see because it's heavy i don't know if there's anything else inside this but it is heavy let's have a look it's a beautiful box it looks kind of like aged and worn like it's been in molly's kitchen for like donkey's years or maybe even passed down from like her mother or something it says kitchen witch on the side here magical recipes for all occasions on the front and back and yeah this is really sweet let's see what's inside is it more recipes Oh, okay. It's not more recipes, but they're more recipe cards. They're exactly the same as these ones. So I suppose if you have your own recipes or even like your favorite like recipe book that you want to like convert into like Molly Weasley recipes, you can totally do that now. That's amazing. And there's quite a lot in here. I'm not sure how many exactly, but that's quite a chunky amount of, uh, of paper there. And then we also have beverages, appetizers and entrees, little separation cards. That's really sweet. I really like those as well. I'm going to quickly get these out so we can have a little look at the designs because the front one has beverages on the front and you can just see like a tankard with what I'm assuming is like butter beer or something on the front there. So that's a really lovely design. And then we have the appetizers one. There we go. And then that's revealing other ones as well, actually. We've got entrees with a lovely turkey dinner there. That looks very, very nice. And then we have sides, of course, sides there, desserts, love that. And then a potions one, this is so cool, I'm loving these. Absolutely brilliant, really, really funny. Love, love, love the idea. This has brought such magical vibes to me. I'm totally, totally gonna use these and display them in my kitchen. I'm just loving it, it's brilliant. Oh, and I didn't show you the inside of the box. The inside of the box has kind of got all this different like, fruit and veg design going around inside of it. There's some like herby things going on as well. Yeah, this is lush. I love it. Okay, what's next? Uh, I have an empty bag. <laughs> is that supposed to be empty? <laughs> Did something fall out? What's going on? I don't know. I've got a see-through plastic bag with a smaller see-through plastic bag inside, both of which are empty. I don't understand what that's about. Am I missing something, guys? Let, again, let me know in the comments down below. I might find something in a minute that could have been in that, but do let me know if you think I am missing something because... Uh oh, <laughs> uh, I'm seeing a key now. Next, I will go with that, which has come. I think this might have come apart in transit, but we've got a key ring here, one with like a double M. Uh, is it monogram? And then it's got M M on the key part as well. I'm wondering if this is a Ministry of Magic key. And we've got like these Wayne scales design inside there as well. So this is a very ornate key, very heavy actually. It feels like a really good quality because it's really, really heavy. And then we have a smaller one, which is a Ford Anglia key. This is so cool. I love the blue color in this. I think it's a really, really cool design. Again, really, really heavy. I don't know if this was supposed to be attached because, uh, yeah, I think it was because this has got like, it's come apart slightly. So yeah, I think this is supposed to go onto there. So let's fix that up and I'll get my husband's pliers in a minute and I'll push that back together. So I'm assuming this is Arthur Weasley's key then, because obviously he would have Ministry of Magic keys as well as the keys to the Ford Anglia. So yeah, these are really cool as well. I really like the design of both of those. I think they're really nice. It's very heavy. I don't think I'd actually be able to use these as an actual key ring for my own keys because they're just too heavy personally for me. But I do really love the key design. I think they're really, really nice. Okay, then we have two mystery boxes. Gosh, that one's heavy. Um, a work score. Oh my God, this is the design of the Weasley clock. No, please tell me there's not a Weasley clock in here. Oh my goodness. Let's have a quick look, you guys. Actually, let's go back to the box because the box design is too good to miss out on. So it says Lost Home on that side there. We've got Mortal Peril on that side there. Work or School there. Garden in Transit there. Yeah, this is definitely going to be something to do with the Weasley clock. I'm so excited. Let's have a little look at what this is. We've got Polystyrene, which we know means good things. Let's get this out. Oh my god, this is so beautiful! Oh my goodness. 
Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Look at this. We've got the grandfather clock, Weasley clock. This is so, so cool. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Look at that, you guys. We've got all the different details on the front here as well. All like the little cogs and stuff at the bottom. Again, this is quite heavy. It's got some weight to it. I really, really like that. That is such a cool idea. I really don't know what I was expecting in this box, but I, sh I should have thought about the Weasley clock, really. It's one of the biggest sort of staple things about the Weasley house. And yeah, it's beautiful. They've done such a good job with this. I really, really love it. Okay, so we've got one more mystery box left, and then we've got some paper replica stuff at the bottom. So let's go through that one first of all. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the Garden Gnome and the Ghoul page from our Magical Creatures A to Z book. So we've got the gnome on the front there. His head looks really bulbous, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and then we've got the ghoul there as well. Of course, there's the ghoul in the Weasley attic. So that's a really, really fun little touch as well. And obviously, gnomes in the garden. That's really lovely. going to put that straight into my little folder. Then we have a Ministry of Magic Confidential Magical Bites and Infectious Attacks folder. This looks really official and very fun. Let's have a look what's inside. So inside we've got a few bits of paper and they say Magical Bites and Infections Ward Intake Confidential. Uh, who is this about? It says 26 years. Oh, patient's name confidential, sorry. And it says patient was attacked by a werewolf. Oh, this is going to be Bill Weasley's things, right? Of course, 26 years old, attacked by a werewolf, that's got to be Bill Weasley. So this is basically all the information for when Bill was admitted to the hospital after getting attacked by Fenrir Greyback. This is so detailed. Literally, both sides of each page are full of information. Dates, times, what was going on at the time, what the patient was struggling with, healer's notes, treatment administered, general condition and abnormalities and injuries. This is so cool. I'm going to have to pop a little look through this and read through it all later on to find out exactly what Bill went through, bless him. And Oh, it's even a discharge notice there. I didn't realise that. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm loving this. I'm definitely going to have a really good read of this later on. I'm loving it. Oh, look at this artwork. So we did see this artwork, kind of like a spoiler, if you will, for the promotion of this particular box. And I just think this looks so lovely. It's so cozy and warm looking. It's really inviting. We've got Ginny Weasley's, or it could be George actually, it could be George or Ginny's jumper there being knitted on this chair. We've got some socks, we've got a broom, we've got the Weasley clock there, of course. Uh, we've got some charm studies books there. We've got the kitchen table, you can see the roaring fireplace some magic orb glowy thing going on down here. This is really beautiful. I really love this artwork. Oh my God. And another piece of artwork we have here as well as the outside of the Weasley house. Look how pretty that looks. I love the fact that we've got the sun either just setting or just rising over the Weasley house there. The gorgeous, gorgeous colors in here are really, really vibrant. I'm loving the house design as well. It's slightly different to other like artwork I've seen of the Weasley house. So I'm liking the fact that it's quite unique. This is beautiful. I'm living for this artwork. That is the spoiler sheet. We don't want that just yet. We have one more item to unbox and then we will have a quick glance over at the spoiler sheet. What are you? Okay, there's a couple of items in here. A knitted item. Let's have a look what this is. Is this gloves? Do we have some knitted Weasley gloves? We do. We have some Weasley gloves. These are really cute as well. These are very friend George vibes. I like these. They're mittens, not gloves. Loving that. Let's have a look at these on. Oh. These are so cozy. Look at these. <laughs> I love them. They're really cool. Typical Fred and George, like stripy colours. These definitely look like the kind of gloves that they would have worn in the films. I think these are really, really cozy, really cute. Love those. Okay, what are you? This is heavy. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, okay. We have a potion. Let's have a look at that. Okay, we've got a bruise remover potion bottle. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love it. It's obviously the purple and oranges from Fred and George. We've got a really lovely little charm there at the front. It's got a little bit of glitter to it as well. Loving that. A orange wax seal on there as well. And then this gorgeous shimmery purple liquid inside. I love it. It's gorgeous. The face on here as well has got a really big bruise on his eye. This is really, really cool. I cannot wait to stick this on my potion shelf, which is fit to burst, as you guys know. Yeah, I'm, I'm living for that. Oh my god, that was a really fun box. I feel like I really tore through it, but it was really fun and I just couldn't wait to unbox the next item, so I just went to town on this box. But let's have a quick little look at the spoiler sheet. So this says, the wizarding trunk presents everyone's favourite wizarding family. Everyone loves the Weasleys. I don't think I've met anyone that doesn't have love for at least one member of the Weasley family. We all love the Weasleys. 
Uh, so the first item we had was the Kitchen Witch recipe holder. This was genius, okay? Absolutely loved that item. It was really, really cool. It says, keep all your favourite recipes in one place. Designed by Wizarding Workshop, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Second item was hand knit mittens. A pair of mittens to match your scarf. Created by the self-knitting needles, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. I love that. That's really funny. Then we had the Garden Gnome Creature page. A Garden Gnome and Goal page from Magical Creatures A to Z. Written by the Wizarding Trunk. Designed by the Wizarding Workshop, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Again, love these creature pages because they're really, really fun. Uh, then we had the set of keys. These keys will get you into your car and work. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Then we had the Dragon Sanctuary t-shirt. Picked up on your travels to Norway. This shirt was designed for us by Here Be Monsters, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Then the Patterned Bruise Remover. Removes bruises from the skin, particularly caused by magical mischief. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. The Family Clock. Displays everyone's location at all times. Clock designed by JP Mistlecrow and Clock Face by Wizardry Workshop. Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Then inside the Magical Home. See how many of this box's items are on this print. Created for us by JP Mistlecrow, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Yeah, there are a lot of items actually that we can spot in this particular art piece. I think that's a really fun thing. I did want to see as well if it had the Magical Recipes box, and it does right here down the bottom. It says Magical Recipes. You can just see it. I love that. That's so funny. Oh, and the little Pygmy Puff as well. The Pygmy Puff's down here. Oh my goodness, I've spotted so many more things now. That's so cute. I actually love this print so much. I'm seeing more and more things as I'm going through it. Love it. Okay, going back to the cheat sheet. Then we had the Magical Medical Chart. Details of the events after Patient's Werewolf Attack, written by the Wizarding Trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Uh, we had the big head pin, big head boy pin. I definitely didn't get that. Oh no, I'm lying. There's something right at the bottom. I didn't see that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have. Of course, we didn't have like a Percy Weasley item. So this is obviously Percy's item. Okay, so we have this gorgeous pin badge here, which says big head boy. Now, of course, you remember when Percy Weasley got his pin badge for being head boy. I think it was Fred and George that put a hex or something on it, which ended up turning it to say big head boy, because obviously he was very big headed that summer. The fact that he was going to be head boy and the Weasley twins wanted to kind of like rain on his parade a little bit. Kind of deserved it, but at the same time is a bit mean. But I think this is a really funny little nod to that. That's brilliant. I love that. OK, so I wasn't missing that item. Phew. Uh, then we had the garden view print. Gives us a view into the garden. Look closely, you may spot gnomes. Designed by Queen Mab, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And of course, the last but not least was the cutest creature alive. Which colour did you receive? Oh, okay, so you could have got different colours. I wonder what other colours people got. Mine, obviously, is the lilac -y purple one. I think this thing is adorable. He's so soft and squishy. Love, love, love him. I keep saying him. I think it's a her. I'm definitely going to put out there that it's a her, but... I still want some names. If you think you can name my Pygmy Puff, then pop a comment down below and let me know. And yeah, that was everything that we had in this box. So what did you guys think? I am never disappointed by the Wizarding Trunk boxes, especially of late. They have been absolutely smashing them. I'm really excited looking around at all the different items that I've got. I cannot wait to stick them on my shelves and find places for them all. Yeah, I'm just super, super impressed. I'm so sad that I do believe, I could be wrong, but I think this is my last box as a rep for the Wizarding Trunk, and I'm so sad about that. But at the same time, I've had such an amazing run as a Wizarding Trunk rep. I think the boxes they've sent us have been absolutely amazing. So magical, so unique, filled with brilliant items, really well thought out items as well. And as much as I'm sad that I'm not gonna be a rep anymore, I'm not saying goodbye to the Wizarding Trunk. I'm definitely, definitely still gonna be getting as many boxes as I possibly can from them in the future. And I'm really, really excited about that. So yeah. Don't be too sad. I will still be unboxing these boxes. And for the moment, anyway, you can still use my discount code Kaylee10 to get 10% off your first box or any purchases in the store as well. I'm just blown away by this box. I'm looking around now and thinking to myself, can I choose a favourite and least favourite? Ah, oh, let me think. I'm going to say no to the least favourite item because, again, I find it very, very difficult to pick a least favourite item from these kinds of boxes because every single item... I'm getting lots of magical vibes from and I'm really genuinely enjoying the items that I've been receiving. So I can't really pick a least favourite and I'm going to struggle, if I'm honest, to pick a favourite favourite. It's a toss up between the Weasley Clock, which is absolutely amazing, brilliant idea, and the recipe box and recipes. I think this is such a cool item. Love the fact that it's like aged and old and it looks like it comes directly from Molly's kitchen. I cannot wait to pop that into my own kitchen. 
And yeah, I think those are probably going to have to be my two top favourites. But everything is just magical. I'm really, really living for this box. I'm loving it. But as always, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this box. What was your least favourite? What was your favourite? Do let me know everything there. If you did enjoy this box as well, please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know and so it helps me with my channel. And don't forget as well, if you haven't already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.